Okay, so uh, back for uh, week five, beer number two, uh, New Holland Light Point. Um, <laughs> I saw this the other day. This beer was just released uh, beginning of March. Um, and so, you know, me, cutting edge guy. But uh, anyway, this is a white ale, a, a white ale, wheat beer, whatever you want to call it. Um, usually, like I said, or, or, you know, before, these beers can tend to be relatively high in calories. Uh, I'll give you an example of Blue Moon is 170 calories, just a regular Blue Moon, 170 calories for 12 ounces. Um, this beer claims to be 86 calories. Um, now it's 3.7 ABV, so it's very low octane on the on the uh, as far as the alcohol content, but uh, 86 calories and two carbs for uh, you know for one 12 ounce serving. So um, and again 3.7 ABV, so it's definitely not something that's going to wreck a diet. Um, so we'll give this a try. Um, it says on the label, and I looked at this up online. Uh, it's brewed with coconut water. Uh, with uh, also with raw honey and orange peel so I'm not sure what to expect out of this one so it, it again New Holland they were you know they established themselves uh, in 1997 in Holland Michigan and and if you know anything about New Holland brewing you're very familiar with their flagship beer which is Dragon's Milk um, you know that and Dragon's Milk is a very heavy stout I mean you know that's 11% ABV um, and, and all the varieties of that. I mean, I've tried, I don't know how many different types of Dragon's Milk and they're really good beers. Um, but, you know, again, going back to the theme of what can we drink that's not gonna wreck our diet or anything, Dragon's Milk is not on the menu, okay? Um, but this is, so again, depending on what you're looking for, but um, so a white ale, this actually, when you pour this, and we did this a couple weeks ago with the, the Blue Moon Light Sky, um, I'm expecting this to be, you know, kind of cloudy uh, because of the uh, suspension of the yeast in the uh, in the actual beer. Um, but I do expect some citrus overtone, um, you know, especially since they claim that they made it with the uh, with the orange peel and the coconut water. I'm hoping that this is kind of tropical, honestly, and excuse me, in in the flavor profile. So, and again, based on the ABV and stuff, I expect it to be really light. I don't really think we're going to get into anything that's going to be, uh, you know, heavy on the, the bread feel or the biscuit feel or whatever you want to say. So, um, again, I don't have much to say about this other than let's pop it open and see what we get. So, well, it's not nearly as, bar as embarrassing as last week when I uh, had the... Uh, unable to pour beer episode so what it's awful light for a white ale that's funny to say when you say something white and you say it's too light but it's pretty clear slow roll it to the top look at that it has been said that I have had one or two beers before in my life. So anyway, all right, so let's see what we've got here. So, and the head staying around a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can smell the coconut. That's wild. You can actually smell the coconut in this. I don't know what to really say about that right now. Oh, wow. You know, that beer honestly has a, that's a unique taste. I mean, it's really good. I like it. It's just very different. It's not a blue moon by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you can also see based on the color that it doesn't have that hazy, um, you know, look to it like a regular white ale might. But boy, I'll tell you what, that is a decent beer, especially for 86 calories, man. But you can taste, I don't want to say you can taste the coconut as much as you can smell it, but, but there's really not 
anything bitter about this at all. I mean, you know, for a white ale, if you think about a wheat beer, you're thinking 15 to 30 on the IBU scale. Um, as far as bitterness goes, and like I said, you know, in the last video, I'm, I'm really interested to see how the hops offset the sweetness. In case of this, I mean, there's no hop presence at all. Um, it's really... I mean, there's, there's a little bit of bitterness in it, but I don't know if that's the malt, because they're pretty close, uh, uh, closed as far as the actual ingredients. I can't tell you what type of hops are in this or what type of malt. They only, you know, listed on their website about, you know, it, it's barley malt. Well, that's fine. That's, you know, 97% of any beer ever made, but... But the hops, I, I couldn't pick out. It's almost like, they're almost like a Zecca. Because they have a really citrusy kind of uh, flavor there. I, and, and, but anyway, it's really good. Um, especially for, you know, this is a good golf beer. Or a, a softball beer. I'll tell you what, this is something that you would really want to have, um, again, like I said, this is, these are options. This is not, hey, you got to go out and buy this or anything. This is an option. But for 86 calories and, like I said, 2 grams of carbs, this flavor is really, really good. Um, you know, this is challenging, like Mick Ultra, you know, their, their infusions, if you want to, the uh, citrus pear or whatever like that. But, man, that is a good beer. Um it would be really good if I hadn't <laughs> if I hadn't let it sit out for 20 minutes before I drank it. It, 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 it. This is like I said in the last video, kind of a colder beer. Uh, it should be served a little bit colder, um, but boy, it's a uh, it's got a really nice full flavor to it. it. It's not you know thin by any stretch of the imagination. It's got like the the uh, the blue moon type mouth feel to it, but it doesn't. It doesn't weigh real heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and, and say, you know, the aroma. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it doesn't smell like a traditional wheat beer because of the coconut. And there, I don't know if you know this, but and you guys probably do, but there's not very many coconuts that grow in Germany. So <laughs> uh, anyway, unless you grip it by the husk, but that's a Monty Python reference. But yeah, I mean, the aroma is really good. I like it. Um, as far as bitterness, there's like no bitterness, and in a wheat beer, there probably there there's really shouldn't be. So I'll, I'll say that it, it does what it's supposed to. Uh, as far as the taste, I mean, I, I really like this. I can drink this. You know, I can drink a lot of those. I, I don't know what I call it the crushability factor, but yeah, I can drink a lot of those, and it tastes really good. Um, as far as the, uh, you know. The only thing I'm going to knock it on is it doesn't, it's not a wheat ale. It doesn't present and it doesn't, you know, have the characteristics of a standard, you know, white ale. Again, it's very clear. You can see that. Uh, there's no haze in it at all. So, I mean, I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying that it doesn't match the, what they're advertising, if that makes any sense. So, um, what I would say is I don't think it matches a white ale profile. Uh, the flavor is really good. I would say I'll give it a four. I'll go 16 out of 20 as far as the overall score on it. But I don't think it matches the the characteristics of a standard wheat beer. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, and, and most of it is because of the appearance. But, you know, again, I think for the calories and for the carbs and everything, I mean, if you're looking for something different, this is something you might want to hit on because, again, this was just released, uh, you know, in the first of March, so of 2020. So, you know, please consider it. And again, you know, Light Point New Holland. I mean, this is a really good beer. So, again, at 3.7, it takes about zero time to drink them. So, Kampai.